Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with another firearms related video. Today we'll be looking at the inside the waistband holster for the P365XL from Black Label Holsters. Now I recently decided I wanted to give appendix uh, carry, inside the waistband appendix carry a try. Uh, typically when I holster carry, I'm going to be holster carrying uh, at 3 o'clock from an outside of the waistband holster, and I usually do that in a little cooler weather. During warm weather, uh, a lot of times I pocket carry with a pocket holster. And I'm going to be doing a, a whole uh, examination of pocket carry in, a, in another article and video. Uh, but I, I did want to try to uh, appendix carry the, uh, the 365XL because I think it's probably the ideal firearm to do that because of its uh, width, uh, its weight, uh, it's very lightweight, it's very slender, and because of the capacity that it has. Um, Fans of Through My Lens were probably waiting for me to do a review on the 365XL, and uh, I'm working on it. I've quite honestly been waiting on SIG to release the Romeo 1, uh, because one of the reasons uh, why I bought the 365XL was uh, the idea of being able to uh, uh, pocket carry a uh, gun with an optic on it. Um, so, you know... Well, I'm still waiting on the Romeo 1. It has not been released as of this recording uh, from SIG, but uh, when I realized what an ideal firearm this was uh, for inside the waistband appendix carry, I thought I wanted to give it a try because, again, that's, that's something that all the cool kids are doing, right? Every, all the uh, really tactical kids are inside the waistband appendix carrying, so uh, hey, uh, I wanted to be a cool kid too. So I started Googling around and looking for uh, potential offerings for holsters, and I ran across uh, Black Label Holsters, and I don't actually remember how I stumbled upon them, uh, but uh, it was from an a online review that I saw, uh, gave a positive recommendation. I checked out uh, their webpage, and they are veteran-owned, uh, made in America, so hey, I thought I'd give them a try. I bought a lot of holsters in the past, Kydex holsters. This is also a Kydex holster. The, the Kydex has a faux uh, carbon fiber pattern to it. I've had uh, other holsters with that look. My competition holster has that look, and it's something that I like. So I decided to get it on this one as well. But, but again, there are a lot, a lot of makers of uh, Kydex holsters. It's not particularly difficult to do, uh, to do it well, to do it with some craftsmanship is where, uh, you know, that will kind of separate the men from the boys, if you will, uh, in terms of uh, doing a good holster, but uh, it's not, uh, it's not hard to produce uh, a good Kydex holster, uh, and therefore there are a lot of folks out there doing it because there's quite a bit of markup involved. Um, and, and that's okay, everybody's got to make money, right? Um, what is difficult to find, in my experience, is uh, one of these guys that makes a good holster but also uh, knows something about customer service. What I found is a lot of these guys have excellent uh, craftsmanship skills. Uh, uh, maybe they come from a manufacturing kind of a background or some kind of a skilled trade and they're good with their hands, uh, but they're not necessarily always people, per uh, uh, people persons if you will. Uh, they don't always answer emails in a timely manner. Uh, they al don't always do what they say they're going to do uh, in a timely manner. They don't always uh, run their operation like a business should, uh, in my personal opinion. So uh, many of these experiences have been rocky to say the least, but I am here to tell you that that was not the case when I dealt with Black Label holsters. Uh, the holster itself uh, is uh, of excellent design. You can see uh, it's very aesthetically pleasing why that should matter for uh, something that if you're doing it right will never be seen by another human being. I don't know, but um, uh, I do like an aesthetically pleasing holster, uh, and this one is aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it has some adjustment screws here so that you can adjust the tension. Uh, here's the clip that is a belt clip, and it is uh, one that is designed to allow uh, the holster to be removed. I like that because oftentimes uh, you will find yourselves needing to go into 
some sort of an establishment where firearms are not allowed. And you need to uh, uh, take your gun back and put it somewhere uh, safe and, and locked in storage. And it's very convenient to do so when you can just remove the gun, the holster, uh, right from your belt uh, simply and easily. And I've used a lot of these in the, in the past and I've never had a problem uh, when I've been practicing drawing the gun and the holster coming out, these kinds of clips. Uh, uh, just I, I haven't had any kind of problem with it. So... Uh, I like it. You'll see there's a nice generous uh, sw sweat guard here, which uh, I think does a good job. We'll go ahead and uh, and I will demonstrate for all the YouTube uh, Nazis out there that this is a empty gun. Nothing in the gun. So uh, we'll go ahead and put the, hol the gun in the holster. And you can see the sweat guard does uh, that would press up against your body does uh, kind of keep your skin away from uh, from the gun. You can see the trigger guard is uh, very well covered. Uh, the uh, mag release button isn't, in case you would need to do an administrative reload for whatever reason. Uh, accessible from both sides, um, and it's got very nice retention. You can kind of hear the click. It goes in as any good Kydex holster will have that click sound as it kind of locks into place. And again, you can adjust the, the uh, tension screws for the amount of retention that you want uh, as, uh, as you see fit. Uh, I also, uh, uh, he offered to sell me a uh, uh, a mag holster as well that was uh, matching to the holster for the gun, uh, which I took him up on. Uh, the price was very reasonable. Uh, you can see uh, this is uh, very similar in uh, design to the gun holster. Uh, it also has adjustable retention, uh, I believe, for uh, the magazine. Um, This is the 15 round uh, XL uh, magazine. Uh, and it has a similarly designed clip as well. So uh, very nice, very well constructed. Got it to me within a week. Um, I have waited, I have waited like eight weeks before on some manufacturers because they, some that I've dealt with tend to want to accumulate orders uh, so that they can kind of do things in a batch process. And I'm not sure how Black Label Holsters uh, is cranking these out, but they've uh, figured out a way to do it uh, very expediently uh, in a manner that uh, allows them to get these out the door very quickly. I was extremely impressed with how quickly the, the holster came. Um, and again... The customer service was so good. The communication was excellent. I don't buy a holster every day. I do have a lot of them. Um, you know, I knew that I wanted an inside the waistband holster for the 365 XL, uh, but there are other decisions to make, like you know how much cant, what kind of clips, you know, um, several several different decision points that uh, that I, I couldn't quite remember um, from other holsters what I had done and this being the first time I had an inside the waistband holster, you know, I kind of was in unfamiliar territory and, you know, Black Label worked with me. We exchanged several, you know, very helpful emails. It was very patient with me, you know, when I clearly, you know, just didn't know which way it was right here on, on some of the decision points. So that was greatly appreciated. And again, he really helped get the holster that I both uh, wanted and needed uh, the first time. So can't uh, recommend Black Label well enough. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. They did not give me any kind of advertising consideration. As a matter of fact, I didn't even mention to Black Label in our initial communications that uh, I do these kinds of things online and in print. Uh, but uh, uh, again, I just feel so strongly about not only the quality of the product, but also uh, the service that they gave that I just want to make sure that everybody in the community knows about black label holsters.
Uh, and you know, I've been I've been using uh, the holster and the gun, wearing it appendix carry, and I'm very surprised. I like appendix carry. The holster is very comfortable, much more so than I thought it would be. Uh, I'm starting to see why appendix carry is so popular. Uh, it was it's very nice uh, for when you're seated, uh, like when you're driving in the car. I uh, didn't have any problem there. And again, I think the P365 XL is an ideal choice for anybody that uh, appendix carries uh, the size, uh, the capacity, uh, just really lend itself well to that particular style of carry. So I'm, I'm uh, extremely pleased, uh, not only with uh, the holsters that I got, but with uh, how well the P365 XL works with appendix carry. Uh, this video is a, a supplement to the written photo review that you can find on Through My Lens. Uh, there's a link in the description box to the written photo review. I'd recommend you head over there and take a look. Uh, you'll find uh, more details than what's in this uh, video, as this is, again, just designed to be a supplement to the written photo review. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this production from the Through My Lens YouTube channel. If you did, please click on the like button and do share the video on social media. If you'd like to see more content like it, please do subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and do check out Through My Lens at www.throughmylens.org.